Hey guys, Kyle here. Got another job that a customer sent to me. I'm gonna be working on a Triumph main shaft and a high gear. And the job is gonna consist of removing the old high gear bushing, installing a new one, and also sizing it. As you can see, it has a very common groove from the trap door seal, and the bushing has a lot of slop on the main shaft. Uh, for a while, I've been putting off making a proper drift dedicated to removing the high gear bushings, basically off of most bikes, uh, Triumph, VSA, unit, twin, singles. So I'm just drawing up some basic designs, uh, nothing crazy, no precision, just uh, measuring the ID of the bushing and then measuring the OD. So I'm gonna be using my Acura 1440C lathe and my 5C Call It Chuck. Uh, no need for a tail stock, it is pretty rigid and um, there shouldn't be any chatter or any chatter I didn't notice when I was working on the piece. Uh, the material is gonna be aluminum 6061. So basically just turning some OD there and the goal is about, you know, four, five, six, seven thousandths undersize or smaller OD than the actual bushing itself. That way we can actually press the bushing in and we can also use the same tool to remove the bushing so it can go through the board. Just doing a quick part off so we can move on to the next steps. All right, so that's what the part looks like. Very nice finish. Broke all the ed edges, everything fits inside. OD's good, ID's good, we're ready to go. So right now we're over at the 10 ton press. My dad has had this press for a very long time. It's kind of wonky, but it gets the job done, especially for jobs like this. So here I am removing the old high gear bushing. Then we're gonna put, uh, put some uh, sun and press fit oil on the inside of the high gear bushing. This prevents any type of galling and it definitely makes it a lot easier installing the bushing. So I got the drift that we made here and we're gonna press it all the way in. Now mind you, there is a dimension that we have to work with as far as the protrusion. And I believe that was about 1.435 for this specific bushing. There you go, I'm just showing all the tools that I need to use to be able to get this job done. So I just set my bore gauge up and we're measuring the inside diameter of the bushing. So we're at the Sun and Honing machine. We're honing, honing the ID and the clearance goal is two and a half thousandths. So I set them up on the tight end and everything should be fine. So we're just doing some basic checking. Um, I do offer this job as a service. It's $20. That consists of removing the bushing, installing a new one and sizing it.